My bad, I was stretching a little bit. Um, hmm. Okay, let me make sure real quick. Because I don't know if I am. Um, bam. Wait a second. I think tomorrow. Hmm. I think we're just going to work. <laughs> Screw it. Oh no, this is the 30th. Never mind. No, no, no. I forgot to save though. I forgot to save. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. <laughs> crap, 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 crap. I guess we gotta finish it. I guess we just gotta. No, no, no. Good luck. We're good. I guess we gotta keep going. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you know, are you humming Shine Spark? Ah, uh, hey, Jill. I was gonna like save it, but or I was gonna I was supposed to save it, and then um, what is it? I was like, oh, today's the thirtieth. So then like, you know, oh, go to work for the thirty-first because I want to make sure like we're not too far. I was gonna save this for the next time we play it, but I think I'll just save the last day, I guess, and then we'll finish the, the game. Are you okay? Are you in love? Maybe. I think that's why I'm fine. Right. No, seriously. Did you? Did you? Did you? You, <laughs> you know, you got lucky. Men only get so happy after they've done something. That's not. Oh God, you totally did. Was it Alma? Have you? <laughs> did you have seven minutes in heaven with her? No, I didn't. <laughs> in any case, congratulations. I haven't seen you this happy since. Well, never. Today, escapades will bring us a familiar place and. Ah, uh, Jilama, I'm gonna... Not so fast, my bartender, if that's even your real name. Last time my viewership had a weird peak while I was passed out, so I'm here to find out what made people so interested. Huh? Hmm. Do I have something on my face? This guy totally screwed. No doubt about it, that gleam in his eyes is unmistakable. Alright, whatever, just keep it down. Ah, Joe, you're... Uh, isn't that the girl passed out from two weeks ago? I'm not here. Oh, sorry. I'll be back in my office then. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Let's get rid of this one. Let's do... Um, let's do this one. Uh, snowball. Sure. Just time to make sure we can change lives. Oh, hey, Betty and Deal. Oh, wait. <laughs> um, You're Betty. Well, someone said take care of Betty, right? I think it was Anna. <laughs> yeah. You are too happy and you are too mopey. What happened? I was right. Hmm? That Laura girl was head over heels over him, and I was right on the money. Oh, you say, that girl. I'm not here. Sorry. Uh, isn't she the one that passed out last time? Anyway, <laughs> Betty was right. She deserves a beer. And you? I'm fine. Friday beer for the chief of Betty. Damn. <laughs> okay, then. She she was right on the money. She knew, like, she she want you for real, for real. One of these, two of these, and one, two, three, and four. I'll mix. Boom. Two, three. Four and five, bam, here's a beer. Here you go. Woo! The Woo! Wow! Yippee! The girl was actually infatuated with him? You should have seen her screaming from the top of her lungs that she liked him. And him just standing there thinking. Huh. Just like that. In retrospect, it was a tattoo cliche for my taste. <laughs> well, I knew she liked him. I was right. I was like, he doesn't seem particularly happy. He never is. Unlike our co-worker. Holy crap, did he? <laughs> he screwed, didn't he? You're making it too obvious, girl. How? That beaming face is unmistakable. The face of a guy who got some and enjoyed every moment. Back to you though. Like I said, he seems lost in thought. Victories like these are few and far between. Let me enjoy myself. Sorry, can I get something non-alcoholic here? That's how you draw on your sorrows, piece of scrap. I have a bloom light. Okay. Uh, bloom light. Where's that? Bloom light. One, two, three, four. Nope, not that. I just said not that! One, two, three, four. No! Stop! One, two, three, four. One of these. One, two, one, two, three. All aged and on the rocks. And mix. Okay, and then non alcoholic. Honestly, I got you. Bleeding Jane. Aren't you like a little baby though? Like you could. I put it back down. The freak, man. I was like, aren't you a little baby? You can't handle like that much, right? Two, three, four, five, and six. There's a bleeding Jane for you, and this is, should be good, right? One of these three. Huh? Oh no, oh, wrong thing. Uh, blue light, right? Uh, I was like, what? Four of these, one of these, two of these, and three of these. Yeah, all age on the rocks and me. One, two, three, four, and five. Blue light for you. Here you go. Thanks. Say be all you want, but I'm freaking out here. I know nothing about relationships. I have no idea what to do. For starters, what do you think, Joe? 
Me. Her? Betty, I've seen a few of your relationships, remember? Aside from Veronica, there's Angela, Pamela, Sandra, Rita, Monica, Erica, Zenas, Mary, and Jessica. Or should I say? They didn't share the bed sheet, snores like a pig, cold feet, shampoo, two religious, fan of the wrong rugby team, Tito Toddler, Tito Toddler, and chews through the mouth open. Mouth open. What do you think, Joe? Uh, you, you must have been quite the heartbreaker to have so many relationships in a short period of time. I mean, about piece of scrap situation. And thank you. Uh, not the right person for this. Oh, Gil? <laughs> He's still on cloud nine. Or is, is he screwing? Like, okay. What about, uh, sneaky, sneaky? I'll be damned. She actually hides pretty well. Bye. For starters, how do you feel about it? Well, I don't know. I don't know her that well. You just call her there. I scratch something. Get to know her. Maybe she'll change her mind. Maybe you'll change yours. In the end, you'll lose nothing by, uh, what? I'm just realizing I'm giving love advice to Lil. I don't know how well it applies to you. Yeah, these things are human and all, but organs nowadays. So, even if that's the case, it's interesting how she felt that way towards him. Why wouldn't she? This fellow is a good catch, if I do say so myself. And like I said, humans and all, but organs. You've surely encountered Lilum that you sometimes forget are not humans. Well, they live in a weird time. We live in weird times, but hey, that just only makes them more interesting. It's odd going to other cities and not seeing the same integration of Lilum, though. Well, Good City is pretty much the cradle of social experiments involving Lilum integration, so... <clears throat> anyway, um, I just try to get, us no get to know her. You'll find out how she feels afterwards. Yeah, I think I feel that. It's quite the uninspired advice if you ask me. Anything else? Let's commemorate the occasion with a piano man and a piano woman. Uh, piano people. Piano man, piano woman. So, one and two of these, one, two... Okay, if I click this one, it goes down. Okay, so do not touch that one, ever. If possible. One, two, three, wait. Yeah, four, five, just that one for some reason. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three on the rocks and mix. <laughs> three, four, and five. Piano man, piano woman. Uh, piano woman. Wait. Yeah, it's different. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, I mean, that's good to know. Two, three, and one, two, three. They're different, right? Yeah, they're different. All aged and mixed. One, two, three, four, and five. And a woman. There you go. And now we reach a stalemate. I'd normally take a piano man, but I feel there's symbolic value in taking the woman. Hmm. Why order her like that then? Ugh. <laughs> Sniff. I hate Laura. You what? <laughs> He's gonna take you away from me. You're my piece of she's blushing. You're my piece of scrap, not hers. You're my, my. Freddy, you don't own me. Besides, I can't for the life of me leave you alone. I feel like the moment I let you out of my sight, you'll just crash. <laughs> That's not a laughing matter. You need some making sure you aren't kicking people. That's not normal, you know? Besides, it's not like I have something with her yet. You're right. So you won't leave me? Sigh. I would wear myself sick if I left you with your own devices, honestly. You should leave now. Oh, yeah. I'm putting a small New Year's party tomorrow. Man, I don't know if you want to come. We'll come. Are you sure? We will. Fine, we'll be here, Jill. Anyway, see you then. Bye, Bill. Please come again. Party? I'd love, <laughs> I'd love to go, but I thought it wasn't tomorrow. I'd end the year at the party myself, so sorry. I totally forgot she was out here. Me too. Man, that was such a bliss. <laughs> Still, I can see how traffic spike things are getting fun here. And just like the last time, I need to show my viewers something fun. Give me something nasty. Something nasty? What could this possibly be? I'm giving you... Hmm... A fedora. Screw you. You're paying 500. <laughs> Three, four, and five. He's a perfume. Here. Is this, this is not what I wanted. Are you even trying, bartender? Zipper talk, not both. And now it's time for me to be a nice person and give you something nice. Huh? It's the second time I'm here, so it's only natural you get your own copy of the theme song. No thank you. Don't be shy. Let me give you one. I mean it. No thank you. Well, too late. It's already in your player. I can't. How in the how the heck did you do that? Magic. That's, that's bullcrap. Video editing magic. These hackers are the music player. Let's move on, shall we? Fine. Eh, whatever. Hey, weren't there dogs? Last time you talked about this place, there, there was this zany haven of sorts, but it, it, I see the same crap. Is there no decorations or anything of the like? Good question, where are the dogs? I haven't paid enough attention to their arrival or they haven't come. Idols, newspapers, managers, talking dogs, and yet there's the same old bar like last time. I might sue you for fake advertising, you know? Now that I think about it, maybe boss just donated money to this CRA thing. And then trick the dog into coming here as a part-timer for kicks. Oh, okay. oh well. Anything interesting lately? I mean, it's not like I missed them. They should at least show their faces. Hello? Sorry, what'd you say? I was asking if there were any news stories. It's not a newspaper, you know? Nor is this crazy stories on demand streaming service. That's a big fat line. You know it. Shut up. But I said nothing. 
Oh, I meant... So shut that idea up. Yeah, that... I won't. Last time I came here, the viewership peaked for some reason. I have to find out why. Maybe Pretty Bow over there can tell the story of who he freaked. <laughs> he said to try to be cool, you make a retort. Amazing. I guess it's something worth saying, but... And I want to hear it. Okay. Well, Kira Mickey came yesterday again. You're, you're messed over. <laughs> He's saying to believe she came all the way here again? You mean have proof of the glass like last time? Well, if I may interject, don't listen to boss. Walls are pretty thin. Oh, anyway, she did. I haven't seen a figure there. Did what? Hmm. Let's see. Why? 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 I tried to make an appointment with her and she's always busy. But you sit there and she just comes waltzing over. It's not fair. <laughs> Bathroom break what? Um, but if I knew how the hell stuff like that happened, I'd share my secrets. It's just, I'm just as baffled as you are right now. Yeah, but I bet you're not even that much of a fan anyway, are you? You're not wrong. Can you just tell me how nice she is as a client? Very graceful client. Not much like last time. Or much like last time. Really nice girl. I'm going to give you my number. If she ever comes back, you let me know. You hear? I'm going to let you keep her to yourself. I really doubt she'll come back again, though. She already came twice. I'm not taking any chances. Hmm. Ah, I need something to draw this anger with. Give me something girly, will you? Okay. Girly, huh? I'll give you a sparkle star. Because, uh, why not? Uh, one powdered, powdered delta. And a karma train. There we go. All eight and mixed. All for you, buddy. <laughs> Four, five. There you go. Phew, this is, let's take it. Just chill a bit. Still not fair. You know, you're boring today. You're not chatting that much. Why are you doing anything funny? Maybe the whole pe beer ship thing is just you. Huh? Maybe this bar and me both have nothing to do with the spike. Maybe you're just that good. Hmm, are you hitting on me? I'm not. In fact, I'm kind of trying to get you to leave, pronto. Don't be sorry on the girl, she's fun. And the nuisance shows up. Wah, Joe hates me. It's not hate, it's just... Wait, I'm not having a conversation yet. Boring. Hey, hey, you're curious, right, about the freak boy's partner? Wanna know who it was? Do you know? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe this... Maybe... That maybe not settles it then. Not taking any chances. Oh, come on. Um, bartender, you're making a lot of faces there. It's nothing, really. Did the two bartenders break up? Break or something? Should I call the manager tech support? Hey, Joe, in and out of voice, remember? What? Who freaked? Aside from the guy, I mean. Oh, um. Say, you're all the calm today. <laughs> I've been getting more sleep lately. That way I don't feel like if I stop sparking, I'll die. Speaking. Crash is one hell of a drug. And wouldn't you know, I can actually make it premium time if I go commando. Huh. Oh, come on. I'm getting boy out of my ass here. Do something. I'm not a dog. You can't just make, ask me to roll over, you know? Mind if I entertain you a bit then? Boss? You and Joe take a break. I'll entertain the Missy here. Alright. Ah, uh, but Joe, you know, by what I meant, take a get with you. I don't want him humming to the middle of the road and right to a truck's grill. Heh, <laughs> grilled grill. Right. Alright, Gil, come with me. Huh? Okay. <laughs> this man is like, he's not here. He's straight up not even part of this. He's he's just in his own world right now. Oh, hey. Want one? No thanks, I don't smoke. Of course not. Alright, I gotta text my Ama. Boss, Ama and Gil didn't freak. Well, that's a bummer. She's sending congratulations on your way, though. I thought I said thanks, I guess. Who was a lucky girl? Oh, was it a guy? I never thought you swung that way. It wasn't a guy. So it was a girl. And you did. You did. You did something. You did the nasty. I don't feel comfortable talking about that, you know? You don't, you don't make things easy for me, though. How's that? I mean, you're pretty hard to get close to, you know? You never talk about yourself. You're talkative so long as it doesn't involve you directly. Tasing you is literally the only way I know how to get through you. You me sound like some weird loner. You are a weird loner. At least tell me if you enjoyed the night you spent with whoever it was. I did. Good for you. Are you humming sunshine stone so much? Why are you humming sunshine stone so much though? After that idol game girl came today again, I looked up her discography and I can't stop humming or listening to them. Right. Oh god, you didn't freak the idol, did you? No. Would that be a problem though? No, no, I just feel weird. Well, that's that for the break. Let's go back. Right. Oh, and go. Hmm? Keep in mind what I said about opening up more. I mean it. That way we don't tease you so often. Listening to you say that has to be the weirdest thing I heard this year. Shut up. <laughs> what if I'm gonna find girl attractive? Uh, probably. And that's that. Back. What were you two doing back there? Freaking? Oh, so you just chatted then. <laughs> Holy crap, did you two really? Don't have to face a man who freaked to death recently. Uh, see, Gil, you made it too obvious. How? What will you have today? I have a gut punch. Coming right, huh? What? Yeah, the only thing wants a gut punch. Is the world ending? Probably. I don't think she ever orders that, Nana. One, two, three, four, five, five. Five. One of these and off the cover screen, all each and mix. One, two, three, four, and five. Got a bunch for you. Here, stop looking at me like that. Sorry. Are you okay? Do we feed you order something like that? It, it's weird for you to order something like that. Yeah, I'm just trying out stuff. 
Did you know Loon tongues are designed to identify food using the chemical components? Our tongues are designed with the human ones in mind. For example, the first flavors that we detect are sour and bitter, just like you guys. I check my personal specs, and apparently my sensitivity is set to 1.2235 times. That made me hate those flavors because I feel them harder. Why all that exposition? I mean, if I, I'd lie if I say I wasn't interested, but why? After all, after last time, I got curious and started checking how many in the system work in detail. For example, the tips of my fingers are so sensitive to vibrations, you can make them make a seismograph with them. Huh. And checking that, I found that it's all based on how humans work. And that got me thinking about what you said. I mean, for my systems to work, humans have to understand how they work. And after all those discoveries, they're not any more or less artificial. Why should I be? I don't know. Looking up all that suddenly made me feel real. It was the opposite of what I felt last time. I feel like I'm here right now. Glad to hear that. Alright, let's try something sweet now. Something sweet. That's more like it. Let's get you a blue fairy. One, two, three, four. One of these. And optional karma screen. All age and mix. One, two, three, four, and five. Bam, bam. Here you go. Ah, nice. To be honest, <clears throat> that's a bit surreal for me. What? I'm here talking to you and you're answering like any human would. You're even expressing happiness. I remember when I was a kid, I usually tried to strike conversations with AIs, but after a bit, they just start looping through their built-in answers, repeating the same things over and over. They always made me crash back into reality. Oh, sorry. Uh, and when I think about that, having such advanced AIs like you right now, it's amazing. I don't know, it makes my inner child happy to see something she always dreamt of. It helps when I feel particularly cynical. Aw, oh, you flatter me. Besides, I always thought about humans like nature's lilum. The method might have been different, but we too evolved from a more simple form ages ago. If Lilum managed to create biological life years from now, it'll all have come full circle. And what I should take with this, what I should take from this is you love me. <gasps> Don't overdo it. Look at that sparkle in her eye though. You saw that? Wait, did you do it again? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Anything else? Let's go with Sugar Rush. Okay. Sugar Rush. All right. Uh, sweet Sugar Rush. One, two, one of these, and optional car machine. Give you one, two, all mixed. One, two, three, four, and five. Here you go. Even in doubt, my love for these is real. How romantic. Man, that go-go is a blast. Don't you feel like talking a bit more with Diddy? Diddy? It's too much of a prick. Go-go's tired. Besides, I want to talk with the bartender. Ah, crap. Well, I tried, y'all. I'll be in my office. Cute little girl, Lilum. Cam girl. Oh, fiddlesticks. <laughs> That's your name, girl. I'm Dorothy Hayes. That's your service. You come here often? Are you hitting on me? Hey, Dorothy. I'm in the middle of a live stream. Don't you want to participate? Sure, it sounds fun. Okay, so let's take a recommendation Recommendation from you. What should I drink next? Try the sugar rush. Bartender, sugar rush over here. Bartender. Sorry, what? Sugar rush, please. All right. Sugar rush. Again. All right. I'll get you a sugar rush. Same way I made it. Dorothy's. Uh, sugar rush it is. Two of these. One of these. And two of... Wait. Two of these, I'll make one, two, three, four, and five. Here you go. Good choice, Dorothy. Hey, what are you doing in my turf? Um, streaming chat. Yes. No, I mean, that's what she called herself. Man, that's a tacky name. Yeah, but it's my tacky name. Actually, that's not really my name. What's your real name then? Behind streaming chan's awesome mask lies a humble Nicole Chen. Humble. Why not call yourself streaming chan? It's funny that you mention it. You see, when I started to call myself Nico Nico Chen, I changed websites so the name felt a bit out of place, but thus became Streaming Chan. Everyone nicknamed me Streaming Chan, Streaming Chan though, but stream everyone nicknamed me Streaming Chan, so I just went along with it. Oh yeah, I get it. At some point, I was going to call myself Doral's Haze, but then I realized the name was as subtle as a brick to the face. Oh, huh. anyway, I'm here just because the last time I came, I ended up with a greater number of viewers than usual, and so I wanted to treat my loyal audience again. Ooh, I see. Well, you came to the right place, especially if you're looking for some comfy fun. Honey, here might seem harsh, but you just had a cracker shell. Shut up. Uh, see, you just need to say the right thing, right thing at the right time. She becomes a sweetheart. Quiet, you. Don't play hard again. You know it's true. Hey, stream girl. That's me. I regret asking this, but don't you have a sponsor? It's weird it's been this long without some advertisement. I have, but you see. The contract with them expired, so Marvin, the business guy or whatever, had to make a new one. He's going to send the draft to his lawyer and had a couple of additions, but um, I say he got too excited with my VR model and the contract became unreadable. So he used a contract to, yep, he got into a pair of pants and rubbed it vigorously on his, uh, oh wow. I mean, you expect certain principles to be upheld, even in the, of the whole VR industry. I reported him and he got fired, but now I'm looking for a new business person to think. Honestly, I think the paper cuts all over his, <laughs> all over his wiener are punishable enough. But I mean, why the contract? I don't mind it if he jacked off an image of me, but the contract? That's money that you're soiling right there. I would have gone back, uh, I would have gone back on the deal were it not for the owner paying me a visit and apologizing profusely. Some people did. Ah, paper cut. I've done enough crazy teacher fantasies to know they can be a problem. 
don't think you have experience to understand that. I mean, Gil's been grimacing for a full minute now. Don't mind me. Huh? Oh, but you know, I like you, Dorothy. Why don't we celebrate with beers? My treat. All right. Two big beers, honey. I need two big beers. Aw, oh, damn. I want change to leave. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four. One more, four. One, two, and two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another one. One, two, one. What? What? You don't want to work anymore? I got to do it down here. Okay. Two of these. You kind of work for a fight. Ooh, interesting. I didn't know I could do that. Okay. No. Huh? One, two, three, four, and five. Beer. One, two, three, four, and five. Bam. Two beers. Big. Cheers. Cheers. So what do you do, Dorothy? Sex worker. Really? You wouldn't happen to have male cores, do you? Am I not good enough for you? Getting serious? No, sorry. Fooling around, maybe. Yo, I want to spice up some premium night, so... You have a card? I can send you some numbers and picks. Sure, here you go. <laughs> and here's mine, just in case you change your mind. Hey, is campground like that a good job? Can you earn enough? More than enough. I can even afford an apartment in a high-end district of Blitz City. It'd be a challenge from time to time, though. You can't just... You, can just, you can't just do anything and expect people to come back. You need to be varied. Keep it fresh. It's all worked out nicely, though. I'm one of the top streamers on my website. I even got this. Hello? Not just a pillow. A daiki... Da Daki Makura with his website's president on it. It's a trophy in honor of all the money I brought to the website. It's even a direct line to him. I can use the column for a tech support on the spot. Call him, call him. Let's see. It's busy. Oh well. One condition they speculated or stipulated for this Daki, Daki Makura is that I can't use it for premium content. Not that I would have, but you know. Boring nights. Oh wait, there he is. Lonely nights. Everything can be. <laughs> okay, everyone can be used if you're brave enough. That kind of stuff. Yeah, you tell me. I can show you something too, but only if you then promote myself at the end of it all. Sure, go ahead. Ta Chan. Oh my god, she has ears. That's cute. He look, look at that. Can't see Lu no. I can see no change to Lu concept, but does the streaming site allow it? Well, first they gave me this means to stream, but my website was different from theirs. Eventually the demand for adult content grew and they had a lot of gates there. People get lewd. They created an age gate because of you? Yep. Nice. Is there any other streamer you feel might dethrone you? Well, MMA Junkie 2040 is seriously becoming a threat by the day. He got his dog to train with him and suddenly everyone got interested in mixed martial arts. I wish him all the best, but he's crazy if you think he'll take away my spot. Oh yeah, that guy. It was better when he was fatter. Not only was he all more funny, he was also more inspiring. I'm not exactly a big fan of dogs either. Well, it's been fun, Dorothy, but I gotta go. Want to see you for, stick with you for a bit? By all, by, oh, by all means, let's continue the escapade then. Sure. Bye, honey. See ya, honey. They're both calling me honey. Should I remind Dorothy that those ears of hers are signal jammers? Nah. I wonder if her stream looks dis distorted though. We're done, boss. Oh. <laughs> uh, man. Oh, that's why they said you can't see. Man, don't you just feel great? We're in the same place. Here, Jill. What's this? A bonus. Today I got a taste of the kind of clients you deal with and keep it up. <laughs> well, tomorrow's a big day, so get ready. That goes for both of you. We got one mistake. God damn. Uh, hey, if I'm getting old, that girl's too much even for me. No, it's that. She's a lot. She's a handful. You have no love for games. Happy New Year. May all your wishes come true in the bountiful new year here with health and joy. Today is the last day now. Screw it. Wait. <laughs> I think we'll do it. Pull the trigger. Anything new? I went to the eyes down for maintenance. Sorry for the inconvenience. Really? Thank you. Uh, Admin Chris, I wanted to stop the epic memeing for a while to say thank you. Big, big thanks for each and every one of you who bought this game. Thank you for reaching up to the point to wait, reaching up to this point into the game. Thank you. Wait a second. <laughs> this is about the actual game. All the emails. Even though we couldn't answer every single thing, we can't stress how much we appreciate the message we got. Thank you very much. It was rocky. Things weren't as smooth as we had hoped for the end of the development. We even had some activity. Active. Someone, people actively trying to sabotage their work, but I like Big Match John. We beat the odd and kicked out too. I've been furfer. Thanks for reading all of my nonsense, although it wasn't too heavy handed. Uh, it's a good bond. Let's fill the world with badass cuties. Weird message. Uh, okay. What do you got to say? Anything new? No. Uh, now we're good. <laughs> Let's actually save the game. Like we're supposed to. This is the last day, so let's do it. December 31st. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, let's see. Gil is in the back getting everything ready. I go grab some food I've ordered. They only agreed to work on New Year's if I went to pick it up myself. 
I see. Um, okay. Are you alright? I'm scared. Gabby will show up any minute. Gabby will show up. Show up any minute. Relax. Everything will be alright. I can assure you of that. Plus, we have you playing. You're gonna watch over me, right? Bring something. Maybe that'll cheer you up. Maybe. I'll leave you for a bit, but keep your chin up. If you get through this, I give you, I don't know, a hug. Does that work? A hug? A big one. A reward after everything's said and done. Hmm. Gotta go. You can do it. Right. Ugh. Everything's fine. You've been avoiding this for all those years. Now it's time to face it. Head on. The big moment. Yeah, everything's fine. Everything will be better after I talk to Gabby. Boss even might give me might even give me a hug. I'm okay. Hello. Gabby. Go. Come in. Excuse me. <laughs> oh boy. Welcome to Valhalla. Yeah. <clears> hmm. <throat> Dylan Gabby. Hey. You talk first. No, I well. Some days ago, I got a letter. And even odder than getting a letter is the fact that it was from your sister. And what? My sister sent you a letter? That's the first I've heard of it. What did it, what did it say? I don't know. I never opened it. At least not until now. Huh? I figured I should read it with you. Yeah, let's do it. Let's read it. Alright then. Sorry. D that's it? Just that? Yep. Isn't there anything, is there anything else in the letter? Maybe on the back? Is... This is just like your sister. I spent days worried about this letter, not wanting to open it for the fear of what it might contain. I lost sleep and appetite thinking about it. And after all those worries, after all those problems, after all these years not talking to her, she sends me a letter, a letter, a freaking letter of all things. And she just says, sorry. Sorry for what? For a fight? For not talking all these years? Now I'm, now I'm, now I'm pissed. <laughs> Are you laughing? Sorry, I just remember all the times my sis provoked you that way. Like the time when you gave you, she gave you chocolates labeled one two, and four during Valentine's Day, and you were pissed about the lack of three. Or that time when you left an unopened beer bottle on the table, she sneakily opened it up and took a sip. And she didn't tell you that she did it, so you were confused all day long. She always bragged that like she knew me like the back of her hand. If the letter was supposed to piss me off like that, she had all the rights to brag. Maybe she was being sincere, though. She did express to me that she was sorry on more than one occasion. She did, huh? She told me you, she died from localized nanomachine, or you told me she died from localized nanomachine rejection, right? In her heart, yeah. Instead of the massive rejection that always makes the news, her case is more focused. They usually ampu amputate or replace the part and call it a day, but organs are different. <coughs> the condition made her susceptible to transplant rejection. Not to mention artificial hearts and genetic treatments are out of the question. Yep. Thing is, apparently she suffered from that since she was 18 but kept it a secret from everyone. Why? Hell if I know, I was angry to learn that she hid it. Why didn't she tell me? Was it so avoid worrying me? Was she ashamed? What was it? Hmm. Wait, how did she live so normally then? She had to use a serum. Shots near her heart every three days. Apparently the serum burns like hell. The shot even left her nasty mark where she had to apply the, the thing near her left breast wasn't a birthmark. And the rejection was what ended up killing her. The now machine rejection was what ended up killing her, but they couldn't find what made her so vulnerable. Doctors said it might have missed that she might have missed a shot or the shots made her other defenses grow weaker. The condition could have gone nuts out of nowhere. Maybe it was just blood pressure. Maybe it was a regular heart attack and the rejection acted afterwards. They don't know. She kept it a secret from everyone, so nobody knows. Maybe if she had told us about it, I could have helped her. Maybe she'd still be alive. Maybe she wouldn't have faced it alone instead of dying in her sleep. She died in her sleep. Damn. Damn, dude. Thinking about what if won't bring her back. Huh? I spent so much time hammering myself with what ifs after you told me she died. What if I waited to cool down a bit back then? What if I just swallowed my fears at the very moment? What if I had apologized earlier? What if I had given a chance to research to the research institute thing back then? And the amount of increased... And the amount just increased threefold after I last out of you the other day. Today I realized something. Having such regrets with the dead is a hollow effort. You're alive. You're here. I can make amends with you, but I can't make amends with the dead. I can't apologize to her like I can't apologize to you right now. Jill. Lenore. She's... She's resting now. She's just resting after having that heart condition after all these years. She didn't have to face it alone, though. If only she... So, let's celebrate her life and achievements. If we were to mourn, let's mourn her together. If we were to honor her, we'll do it together. Together. Lenora was a fun-loving person. The best we can do right now is try to line up, even if it's only for a moment. I need to ask, though, did she, did she really start to complain about chest pain shortly after I left? No, she didn't get visibly worse after you left or anything. Everything was actually too sudden. She didn't complain about chest pains from time to time. She did complain about chest pains from time to time, but she actually goes, that goes way back before you left. Back then, we thought it was just acid reflux or something. God, I even blamed her death on you. I was just too angry back then, and part of me just wanted to put the blame on someone or something. And you didn't deserve that, sorry. Hey, I'm sorry too, you know. <laughs> we both have things to apologize for, I don't think too much about it. 
I should have been mature and not shout out to you either. So let's just call it all, all that water under the bridge, shall we? You sure? Of course I am. How did you find me exactly? Oh, uh, mm. I've heard of the message board called Danger You. I have, yeah. Truth is, I visit it from time to time. I visit it every day. And the other day, I heard a th thread that discussed the bar. And the description of the bartender sounded just like you. Hmm. Are you mad? No, am I like dumbfounded? Oh. Huh. Joe, can you tell me what the problem was back then? The spark that fight? Weren't you happy with my sister? Hmm. Well, back then, I didn't know what to do with myself after I graduated college. I went in pretty much hated my last couple of years there. It's not far-fetched to think that I only tolerated being there because your sister was with me. She also stopped supporting my studies. Had she stopped supporting my studies, I would have quit right there and then. Then after graduating, I got a very good job offer that she accepted on behalf of no, in my behalf in no time. She kept saying it was the best for me in my future, but I was livid. Why did she have to do that? I hated it. I didn't even know if I wanted to go there, but she still insisted so much. She Like she was forcing that burden on me. And then my became our future and she started talking about marriage. We're going to get married? I don't think we ever took it seriously. It was just something she kept mentioning. Not like we, I didn't think about it like down the line, but she mostly teased me with it. But she thought suddenly, the thought suddenly scared the crap out of me. I loved her, but I didn't think I was ready for such a commitment, especially considering what she did. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I wasn't going to let her decide such a big thing for me. I mean, she could be really pushy, pushy from time to time. Like I said, I pretty much passed college thanks to being with her, and that was partly because she was so pushy. And even even if she had the best intentions, she could have she could be abrasive from time to time. And it rained down on me at that moment. She took it upon herself to make that choice for me. I would have stopped her once we got married. What if she suddenly decided to craft my life to her needs after her marriage? I knew her. She would do it thinking it wasn't the best for me. But what about my freedom? My say in the matter. And so that's where you stop loving Lenore. No, no, no. I never stopped loving her, which is why it hurts so much. But you have to understand, I didn't want to wake up 40 years old and working a job I hate. Just had a routine getting used to it. I wanted to break from everything for a while to put my thoughts in order, regroup myself, think carefully about what to do next. I can understand. I sometimes felt the same, although I'm not even in college. So that's what led to you to fighting, huh? <laughs> you know, the word fight makes it sound like we exchange blows or something. It's all silly when I think back to it. Tragically silly. Maybe I was the one who started the fight. Maybe getting all defensive about not wanting to take that off. Or perhaps I didn't overreact to her. If I didn't overreact to her arguments about wasting this huge opportunity, she wouldn't have lashed out made me this bad. That's, that's how at me this bad. It could have been avoided if I had just kept the cool head and talked about that with her. My sister said something like that. Hmm? I told you she mentioned on more than one occasion how sorry she was about the whole thing, right? Should have listened to her at the end, but insisted I kept pushing her. I should have kept the cool head and insisted of eh, eh, head instead of letting my jealousy take the best of me. It was her offer, not mine. Should have stopped projecting myself so much into her. Something like that. Lenore. <laughs> You're quite. You, we were quite the hotheads. You, me, and my sis. You're supposed to be the mature one, you know? Play your role correctly. <laughs> but why didn't you come back, Joe? Did you end up hating us that much? Did the break include us, too? No, it's just that... Mm. I remember when your sister was giving a class and you broke, in, broke a window. How you didn't want to see her for fear of being scolded. My sister wouldn't have scolded you. But I was afraid. Dead afraid. I couldn't bring myself to face your sister. But I faced her back then and I was like seven at the time. Why couldn't you do it? It's not quite the same. In perspective, no matter what reason I came up with, it would never make sense. Everything sounds very stupid when I look back, you know? I thought it makes things easier. I won't ever get to speak to her ever again now if you and it feels bad because it's stupid. I swear you and my sis were meant for one another. <laughs> Ugh, that's not a good thing to hear at this moment. You both moved on after all that, but neither had the courage to go back and say you're sorry. <laughs> yeah, sigh. Like I said, berating myself over those past mistakes won't bring her back. I miss it so much though. We were together all the time, always talking about dumb stuff. I wouldn't call my parents useless, but she was the one I could always talk to. I feel her absence every day. Everything is just so quiet now. She was an amazing person. Yeah, she was an amazing person, huh? Morning is fine and all, but we should be celebrating her life. If she were here, she would tell us that there's no fun in soaking for so long. She told you that all that time. Same way she told you to stop rubbing things in people's faces, both figuratively and literally. Hey, I was eight back then. Well, let's have a toast in her honor, shall we? A toast. Yeah, let's get you a drink. A drink? Don't worry, trust me. Something sweet. How old is she again? <laughs> I don't remember how old she is. I get her sugar rush. You know what? Nah. That's a good thing. Uh, Blue Fairy. Blue Fairy? Sparkle Star. Hmm. That's Sparkle Star. Screw it. Thing. System. Only age and make. 
No, no Karma Train, because I don't know how old she is. I don't remember. She was like eight. She keeps saying like, oh, I was eight. I was young. But like, I don't know how she is. Uh, I'll age mix. One, two, three, four, and five. Here you go. Grab this for a second. Okay. <clears throat> Lenore, I know you're watching from the beyond right now. As I give a drink to your little sister, it's obvious to me how now we both meant to make amends at some point, but we never got around to it. I can't apologize to you anymore, but I can't at least make you rest easier. So now I'll look out for Gabby in your absence. I'll make sure Gabby grows to a fine woman just like you were. I'll always be there for her. I'll make I'll be sure the little brat doesn't face the same problem you and I had. Hey, wanna add anything? I'll ugh, I'll always miss it. Don't say it to me, say it to her. That's a bit come on, just this once. I'll always miss you, sis. Sis. Sis, you idiot. Why do you keep that secret for so long? Idiot. Idiot. I always told you everything. Wasn't I enough, you idiot? Idiot. Ugh. Oh my god. Hey, Gio, promise you won't be like that knucklehead. Promise you won't keep stuff like that, Teresa. Well, if you promise the same to me. And promise me we won't fight. I can't do that. Huh? You and I are both too thick headed. Sooner or later, we'll clash at some, in some opinion. But what I can promise is that I won't run away like last time. We'll both cool off and talk it over like the adults we are. She's an adult? Oh, I'm not an adult. Let's face it, you've been more mature than I have. Huh. Hey, did you mean what you said? That you look after me? I'll always be here for, for you, Gabby. I mean, I'm not Lenore, but I wouldn't dare leave my little sister alone. Jill. Hey, isn't this a toast? Right. For Lenore, faithful sister and girlfriend. Cheers. Cheers. Um, so, about this drink. Can I drink it? Do you like it? Take a sip. It's not bad. But why not drink it then? You're with an adult. You might as well break the alcohol taboo here and now. I didn't give her alcohol. <laughs> now that I think about it, didn't you say to give you a beer once as a prank? Oh yeah, that. It was April Fools. I should have known better when she offered me apple soda. <laughs> I put bubble gum on the soles of all the shoes in retaliation. She walked funny and my jaw hurt for the rest of the day. Yeah, but did you know you got did you know you got my drink that time? Huh? She gave me a beer and it turned out to be apple soda. Oh. Did you get back at her? Well uh oh. I did hide all the what? Huh? In the house that night? Only to find out she knew how to use a cucumber. Ugh. As a follow-up, she used that same cucumber in a salad days later. She said, So do you like eating me for lunch? <laughs> they were meant for each other. Jill, uh, I'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> but never at all. Huh? Hey, Gabby. Do your parents know you're here? I think I'm at Claire's, actually. Who? Oh, she's my best friend at school. This... And this Claire knows you're using her as an excuse, right? Of course. How would she cover for me otherwise? Sure. Uh, will you go for to her house off afterwards? To be honest, I didn't think that far. Maybe I will. I do live in another district, but Claire doesn't live close by, so... Hmm. Well, it can't be helped. I live nearby and the streets aren't exactly safe at night, so why not stay with me tonight? Are you sure? I don't live in a mansion, but I'd say it's comfy enough. We have a roof over our head, so you know what? Good enough. At least to spend the night. Sure, I'd love to stay with you. Great. Hey, does your dad still have that bakery? His bread was really good. Yep, he opened a second branch last year. So he's looking to expand. I think he got into a partnership with a friend in the Motor District. Uh, the guy saw an opportunity after realizing Motor District has almost no bakeries. Interesting. Business. Business, 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 business. I still remember when your sister introduced me to him. He started shouting, I knew it! I freaking knew you were a lesbian! Mark one for daddy! <laughs> I think he had this bet with an acquaintance of his after ever, ever since my sis was 12 years old or so. His dad said his sis was into girls, the acquaintance didn't believe him. He bet a beer on whatever, whether he was right or not. That beer bottle was still in the fridge, it's even labeled Sweet Victory. Huh. Her mom and Lenore never made up, did they? Die. I guess that one wasn't as simple as the I said, said one too many things argument. Mom was always obsessed with high society and in her circle of friends, a lesbian daughter was a no-no. I'm still on my sister's side for that one though. <clears throat> Mom didn't reject her because her, she herself was homophobic. She did it because her friends were. Oof. So Mom, the opinion of her circle of friends was worth more than her own daughter. How did she react to her death? I don't know. Mom and Dad broke up two years ago. They did? They never got married, so there was no proper divorce. I haven't seen her since August, I think. Did you two fight too? No, she just hasn't showed up. You must have felt alone, huh? I've been there. A bit, but I'm not alone anymore. Thanks to you. <clears throat> Thank you. Huh, I thought there was going to be a party here. I don't know, over here. Over here. Party? That's my New Year's celebration. Want to stay for it? I don't want kids to burden. Don't worry, you won't. You only get cola for the night, though. No alcohol. That'll give us... I didn't give her alcohol. Was I supposed to? I don't think I should. <laughs> like, not not on the workplace. I'm on the job right now, okay? That'll give us time to catch up even more. I can just use some friends if you win. Uh, if you don't mind me. 
great. Hey, Alma, come here. There's someone I want to introduce to you. Oh, and then we're just going to get to the party. Okay. Ooh. It's getting, wow, it's getting a really long time. What's happening right now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, and that's it. Valhalla, Cyberpunk, Bartender Action, Staff. Okay. Is that it? That's it. Wow. Okay. Kirin Rin Rin. Oh my god, that's that's the uh the, wait, those we've seen those in the game. The at Kirin. Whatever. That's cool. Okay then. Wow. That's that's a that's it, huh? There's probably more ending. Like, we could definitely do more. I wanna I don't know, maybe I'll try getting everyone drunk. And I gotta do flawless and like everything. But like Huh. You know? Um This is a banger. Game is a banger. Pretty much. That's all I can really say, because like damn, you know? Freaking I enjoyed every second of it. Freaking reading through everything and just like these people, these characters, you know. <clears throat> I'll try it again. Um I, I might just like go through real quick, like, oh get the the whatever. I don't know if I do it on stream though. I think like just leaving at one playthrough is like good enough. This is like first blind, whatever. And then after that, you know, whatever we do is on us. Like I'll probably do like on my own time if I want to, but you know. <laughs> uh we'll see, we'll see. Oh. Uh, I do want to get to the other stuff that I want to do. But yeah. Mom, dad, family, and friends, thank you all for the support. This is for you. That's sweet. That's nice. <laughs> um I know it is good we got to what is it? We got to uh, wrap things up with freaking what's her name? The the sister? I forgot her name, but <laughs> Gabby, Gabby. And we gotta we gotta wrap things up with her and you know reconcile about the sister. That was pretty nice. It's a I don't know. It feels good. It feels like I I, I interacted with these people and I got like a good a good cohesive story going on. You know, it's cool. I know what's gonna happen to the bar though we don't really like are, are we closing we're supposed to close but they're fighting for us not to close so i guess we're just not closed and next week is a thing i know there's a prologue and there's an epilogue no a, a prologue and like a demo thing that's all i know um but yeah that's about it <laughs> i gotta do that on stream though but i'm not gonna do that today i'm gonna go back to that did you have fun of course i did yes Yes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no. Did you have fun? Um. Yep. I was about to meet the cat boomer. Why did your boss hug you though? Oh, this this is um. <laughs> okay, this is after. This is Jill and Gabby. I was got to meet a cat boomer. Why did your boss hug you though? She's kind of a person. Now let's see. You were dozing off back there. Hmm. I guess we're at home now. Uh, in our apartment. You're right. Good night, Jill. Call me Julianne. Uh, something. I forgot her. I forgot that was her name. Good night, Jill. Okay. Let's play some more tomorrow. Good night. What do you mean play? More? <laughs> okay, my bad. I was thinking of play, but like I, for <clears throat> I forgot. Like Gabby is young, so it's like probably play like a little bit with Gabby. You know, do whatever fun because like i don't know that made me think like maybe that's with lenore like we talk we're talking like because how, how long did we know her i don't remember i think no it was like high school never mind i don't i don't remember gracias peluche um yeah i, I don't know I, I think i was thinking of like something completely wrong but yeah uh yeah freaking that was awesome that's cool what happens what happens next is what I'm asking. It's like <clears throat> I'm aware there's supposed to be like another game, but that just hasn't they've been on like hiatus or whatever. Saturday, February twenty fifth. That is like two months. Damn. I can't believe you actually made me do that sleepover thing. You don't have to accept, you know? Shut up. I'm having a good time. <laughs> oh my god, it's Alma me wait. No. Alma Gabby and me. See, even Gabby's having fun. Relax a bit. Yeah, whatever. You know, Alma, you remind me a bit of my sis. I do? How? You always manage to get a re reaction from Jill. 
Sis always said that Jill acknowledge your presence is the best way to know she likes you. You're talking too much, Gabby. Oh, it's different with you though. My sis Jill is more frustrated. Like this one time where she bought her a shirt that you're talking too much, little girl. A shirt with what? I had a pick of a cucumber on it. Cucumber? Uh, ow. What are you doing with my head? Sorry, I guess like one of my fingers. Jeez. I'm a bit like Lenore then. No, you just remind me of her a bit. Uh oh. Right on cue. Moreover, my sister wasn't as, um, as ass. What the girl's trying to say is that your tits in ass. You could build a Lenore out of half of the mess. That just means there's enough to share with both of you. Share? You're talking too much, Alma. August 27th. Oh, we're, we're just going through. I guess it's just our ending. <clears throat> I guess this is where we part ways, huh? Sadly, I'm bound to the city. I can only falsify my identity effectively around here. I really want to thank you, Chief, for the second chance you gave me. If you ever cross paths again, I... Gil, you're leaving for like a week and a half or something. Don't be so dramatic. <laughs> but I... And... You're taking care of my department. We will cross paths because I live there. The time we spend setting up a useless farewell would be, would be, could be used asking me things about the place. Or where the switches are. Like where the switches and valves are. But I already know. They're in that control panel you made. But I like talking about the control panel. I'm proud of it. Speaking of obsessive like, Gil, stop... Calling Armitage. Armitage? She'll take care of your four ball just fine. I'm not worried about it. I'm worried about me. I've never been away from four this long. I don't know what I'll do. You'll do just fine. You did pretty well for at least 25 years before finding it. Yeah, but we're leaving. Wait, hey, before I forget. Left you a box of condoms on the first drawer of the desk, Jill. Gil. You what? You what? Hey, if he wants to bring his new girlfriend or whatever. Who, whatever, there. I want him to be ready. Oh, and just one condition. If you're going to freak like rabbits, stay away from my room. I have too many pics of my... Imuto there, and I don't want their eyes soiled. Imu who? Little sister. Then just say little sister. Yeah, whatever. First stop, Panama. Okay, you can now save heart data. Loading heart data from the title screen in the bar where you start over for any day while keeping your items and money. Ooh wee. New game plus. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Uh -huh. Oh, we have Gabby now. Oh, that's so cool. That's a little deep. That's a nice little detail. What if I load this? Hey, over here. Oh, oh, wait. I show up on the TV. Gags, if you, if you, yeah, gags get old if you repeat them too much, you know? It don't matter. Thank you for playing again. Don't worry. You won't be punished for choices made in the past playthrough. This is a fresh new beginning. Um, almost fresh at least. Joe will have all the money she had at the end of last time. Oh. She'll keep everything she bought for unlocked too. That means she can potentially be a mil millionaire, but remain the same poor bartender. <laughs> well, suspension of disbelief exists for a reason, right? Oh, but deaths will still show up, so be careful. Did you get all the endings yet? Here's a couple of tips. Leaving Joe homeless or not is... Huh? Homeless or not is the first step towards the least one of them. There's two of them that rely on being a top bartender to the buff sweetheart. Buff sweetheart? Are we talking about Say? Say. Yeah. Aw, oh, man, how's... Who's nice to them? Of those two, one needs you to be patient with the pompous buffoon. Ah, uh, I see. The other one needs you to serve the busty droid what she wants. The Lilum. Oh, uh, we're talking about Akira Mickey. And the other busty girl, the blonde one. You should get hers as long as you're not an asshole. <laughs> and Becky should be as easy as long as you remember what she says. Six different endings. Can you get them all? Let's pretend this never happened. Game start. Thank you. That's it. No more tequila season ramen over the afternoon left. What the hell are you chewing on for? Is that a letter? Oh, that's the letter we first got. Oh my gosh. And that's it. Honestly, we don't need our previous saves. <laughs> like, at all. I'm not going to go back for anything. I'm just going to go through the thing. Uh, membership for Shining Fingers will be automatically renewed. Okay. Who's that letter from? Nobody. Yeah, this is the letter we got from the very beginning. Oh my goodness. I had no idea. I went to I talks about that broken heels. Alma thinks of the whole is the yeah 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 okay. Wow. Okay. I'm just gonna loop. We have a heart save now. I probably could have just yeah, but whatever. Okay. I think it's a good place to end it. That's a good for good enough for me. We didn't even use the nano camo thing by the way. It didn't even work. It crashed the game last time. Whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, 
I think that's a good place to end things here. But like, damn, you know, that was that was pretty good. That was that was a banger of a game. Um, because like, yeah, that's it. Just damn, you know. Um, I'm pretty freaking happy with actually finishing the game. So like, that's always good. It's a Minecraft parkour way you talk. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm, I, li I like the game a lot. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it's one of my favorites immediately. I, I don't know if I'd put it higher or lower than Deltarune or like Undertale, stuff like that. It's up there. I like how it is the characters, everything, the story itself is always. It's like, I want to know what these guys are talking about. It's the end of the video. God dang it. It's okay. Hold on. Like, I want to know what these people are on about. You know, what's the, what are they doing, right? What are they doing today? Not today, but like, you know, what, what what's, what's going on with them? Oh, so it's like, my bad. Close that. What the freak? <laughs> it wanted to begin switch to the other one. Whatever. Anyway. Um, yeah, like I, the whole time I was like, what's going on with you? You know, I was remembering like what they were doing and everything. So it's pretty cool. Um, so I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. Um, oh, I see. You want to. Yeah, you're supposed to be. My bad. Freaking. It switched over. This is supposed to be the, uh, the good one. It's a bit. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. But yeah, you know what I mean? It's cool. Pretty happy with that. Um, I like the game a lot and I enjoyed playing every, I enjoyed every moment playing it and learning about these characters and whatnot. It was pretty cool. Uh, I'd recommend anyone play this game. because It's worth it. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, after all this time of it being around, I've never seen much about it or played it. I knew the only thing I knew was Dorothy was in it because Dorothy was a kooky character and that's it. That's all I knew. But I didn't know anything else. <laughs> and that was like years ago. Now it's like I actually get to play it myself. And it's like damn you know. Pretty awesome. But yeah. Uh, with that. That's a good place to end things. We, we pretty much we can do that now if we want. You know whatever. So yeah. That's cool. Um, thank you for joining me for this journey. And I hope you enjoyed your time here. But yeah. That's it for me. Um. We'll see what else we play in the future next time around. Who the heck knows? We'll see. We'll see when, you know, we'll get there when we get there. Um, but yeah, thank you for stopping by. I'll see you next time. I'm good for now. So have a good one. Bye bye. Goodbye.